Meow, 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 everyone. Hello, hello. Welcome back to reality here as you're watching me. Of course, that's the realest reality of all time and the realest of the real. As you can see, I am back from the Florida vacation. All in all, it was pretty awesome. Uh, I was com complaining about it a little bit on the Hubcast just because I was being a butt. It was really fun and relaxing being able to go out for a week and I had really busted like crazy to get all those videos done beforehand so that I could just relax and enjoy myself. And we had a lot of fun down there. It was really cool. Got to see real live wild dolphins. I'd seen them in captivity before, but never got to see them in the actual wild. So I got to see some of those on the boat. Funny enough, it was actually colder in Florida than it was up here in Colorado, which was really sad because I was really looking forward to really hot weather because it was pretty nice up here and then it was getting a little chillier and then got hotter and then got chillier. So then we were leaving it. It was a little bit chilly here. We got down there and it was just the same. And I was like, oh, well, this is interesting. So it was chilly while we were there, which kind of sucked. But overall, it was still a lot of fun. I ended up going to Universal in Orlando, just Universal Studios, not the actual Islands of Adventure. But it was still it was still a fun little trip. We didn't really have a lot of time to to hit the other one, but it was it was cool. It was it was fun. I have to say though that Floridian drivers absolutely drove me insane, and no pun intended right there. There was just so many instances where when I was driving on the highway, people would just treat lanes in various ways that really upset me because I, I don't know what it is about, you know, you see a 70 mile an hour speed limit and you're in the right lane. I was driving the rental car, which was this big behemoth uh, Ford Explorer, or no, it was a Chevy Suburban, sorry. It was a Chevy Suburban LT, so it was a beast. And I just sit in the right lane and, you know, 70 miles an hour, that's the speed limit, just, you know, taking my time over to the right side. And I'd come up on somebody and they would just be sitting there going about 50, super slow. So I'd get over really fast and then they'd speed up to match my speed as I was passing them. And then people would come up behind me and I'd get over, try to get around the person. And then everyone pretty much slows down on the left-hand side. So it's like every single, there, there's just pockets of traffic that are moving across different highways in Florida because no one really knows how to treat the highway. It was really frustrating. I did see a lot of cops though. For some reason there was just so many that were out there. And it was interesting driving around some parts of Naples and, be, and seeing some of those big houses that these CEOs and movie stars and other people have because apparently there's this this loophole law thing in Naples that, you know, if you get ever get sued or anything, the only thing they can't touch is your house or your residence down in Naples. So all these big CEOs and stuff since just sink millions and millions and millions of dollars into these massive homes on the side of the ocean, which is pretty insane. There's some of the biggest houses I think I've ever seen before. And I've been up like around uh, Harbor Springs, Michigan was home to a lot of really massive houses too. Because uh, they had a bunch of, you know, they have all the Detroit uh, auto worker, you know, the big, big auto money that went up there as well as like Wrigley um, from Chicago and stuff like that. That's all their summer homes though. So these are like primary homes. So they're really massive. And it was just kind of scary seeing some of those and the, the prices on them. But it was fun. All in all, it was fun. I've only been to Florida a few times in my life. So that was definitely a fun trip down there. And I'm sure I'll go back again at some point. Hopefully next time it's a lot warmer. Did end up seeing a manatee in one of the canals we were staying next to and that's pretty cool because I've never seen a manatee before. I don't even think in captivity so I saw that it was a baby one. Uh, you could see kind of the outline of the mom or the dad whoever was underneath them but then the baby was kind of hanging out near the surface and was you know it was, it was a good four or five feet long. Still pretty big and it was just kind of hanging out and it was really cute. <laughs> but I think that's everything that happened in Florida. Now that I'm back, it is Mass Effect Andromeda time. I really wasn't planning on it, but it, it, it came out a little early. Well, technically, I had the EA Access. I bought EA Access for the sole purpose that you get to play Mass Effect for 10 hours early. So I, I got it, and then as soon as I got home, I was able to start playing it, which was awesome. So I jumped right into Mass Effect, and I've been playing that a lot, having an absolute blast with it. And it's getting some pretty harsh, harsh criticisms due to some facial animation issues and stuff like that. And I, you know, I can see where some of the criticism is coming from. Basically how I see it and how a lot of the Mass Effect fans I think see it 
is that when you're making a game, you have to decide how much time you can spend on stuff. And one of the main things I saw Bioware kind of boasting about was the fact that the least talkative crew member on the team for, for Mass Effect Andromeda has three times more voice lines than Shepard did in Mass Effect 3. So they're scaling up the story aspect, you know, three times at least. Uh, among the different, you know, allied characters and friends and companions and stuff like that. So with that much of a scale, they have to budget, you know, what they can face pose. And while the face posing isn't awful and is kind of non-detectable on some of the aliens, since, you know, you really don't know how their faces work exactly, when it does come to the humans, there are some expressionless uh, things that they have because they just had to throw in the voice lines and then they kind of interpreted them into what facial animation look like rather than being able to manually face pose every single line. So I've done that before yeah, for Unreal stuff and it takes a long time. And I know they did it for Mass Effect 2 with some of the major cutscenes and they probably did it for Andromeda for some of the major stuff too, but when they add that much extra stuff in there it kind of detracts from the quality of some of the, some of the animations. Which so far hasn't bothered me as much as the fact that there is that stationary cam thing that happens whenever you go to talk to someone that's not a super crucial cutscene or a main cutscene. It basically just kind of like takes the angle, the camera angle that you're playing with and just kind of swoops the camera down into the right and kind of zooms in a little bit. And then it just stops and then where it is is where it is. It, it doesn't really take into account anything other than like, hey, you know, you're talking to this person but we couldn't set up a camera angle because we actually have people moving around now. Basically what's happened is that they've coded in a lot of things to make people, NPCs and all that, actually walk around. And I assume that's where the uh, fact is they can't actually go in and pre-set all the angles that they have. Because in Mass Effect 1 and 2, pretty much everyone you would talk to and engage in a cutscene with, they were always just standing there, sitting there, just kind of standing up against the wall. So now that they have these people that actually walk around, they really can't afford that. So it does turn into that. So that's the thing that's bo bothered me the most because there's been several instances where I go in and I, I go to talk to somebody and uh, you know they're not important, but the camera will swing around and then Ryder's on the left-hand side of the screen taking up everything, like he's just taking up, he's on the left hand side of the screen and then the other person is behind him. So you can only see the back of Ryder, then 90% of the screen is just like the wall or whatever else. So that's the thing that's really bothered me about it. All in all, I've really enjoyed it. It's It's been so much fun and it's really, really awesome and I've gotten really giddy playing the game because it's just everything I've wanted in a Mass Effect thing. You know, Shepard's cool and all, but to be able to depart from that story with the same technology, the same aliens, the same uh, ideas about space and go into a completely new area where nothing is familiar is really cool because it's just taken, it, it's basically a Mass Effect universe game. And that's that's fun, I, I like that about it. And so far it's just been, it's been a blast. So I've, I've enjoyed it, there are some faults with it and it does have problems. I'm not trying to defend it to the grave kind of thing. But all in all, I've had a lot of fun with it, especially the, the combat's fun. The story so far is great. Being able to get to know a lot of the characters is really cool. And then you cannot romance a Krogan, which is the most annoying thing about it and the thing that makes me the maddest, maddest, this, this, this. So that's Mass Effect. I'm going to be playing it till the end. I actually asked this, I'll ask this again right now for those of you who are watching the series. I asked should I be doing, you know, some of the more minute secondary missions off recording or should I just leave them in the recording? Because there's been a lot of them where they're they're smaller, they're not really that crazy interesting. And but but I always I still want to do them all because now that I'm in this, you know, true RPG environment with it, I just want to go do everything. So I get a little overwhelmed and sometimes I feel like I get caught up in too many side quests. So I'll let you guys, you know, just give your way your opinion in on that. I know there's plenty of people that are enjoying it enough to be able to watch all that and then some people that aren't. But I'm doing my best to make sure I watch all the cutscenes, um, well I watch all the cutscenes, trying to explore all the dialogue options since there's no so much new stuff happening in this game. So other than Andromeda, Dark Souls was the next thing I was going to set up. I was actually going to record that today but a few things came up and I wasn't able to. So this was like the last thing I was able to record today was this video. So I was gonna ask a few questions just I you know I'm still really intimidated by the game in general I, I figured it seemed like it was a port that needed a controller So I actually need to get a controller ready 
which is one of the main things. I actually have to go find one. I think I need to dig up my wireless adapter or just find a cord I should probably do for one of the Xbox One controllers and hopefully it'll work. And then I will get started on my journey. I'll probably do a shorter session right off the bat just so that I can, you know, just test the cutting, just the cut downs and stuff like that as well as get tips a lot faster. And that way record as I go rather than recording a ton like I am with Andromeda and then cutting it up. Oh man, there's a lot, lot. Ah! But other than that, the main thing is the blue hair. I, as you can see, I got my hair cut. So now it's cut and kind of messy. It's just hat hair at this point. But the goal is today I was gonna get my blue hair dye and I haven't had a chance to run out and get it. Hopefully I can run out tonight and grab it and do it tomorrow morning because Jared's actually coming into town soon. So I, he's the one person that would literally grab me and tie me down and dye my hair. But I will be going pretty full force on my hair. It'll be a nice, nice blonde to begin with. Well, I have darker hair so it'll kind of get yellow I'd say and then just go through it and get some some nice blue in there. So that should be fun, it should be fun. I'm finally doing it after this long, but it, like I keep on saying, it definitely took me this long, if not longer, to get my tattoo. And you know, look at Mr. Mr. Gaben hanging out there, there he is. Yeah, Gaben! Man, I don't know what else, because Mass Effect Andromeda, I think is gonna take up most of the channel stuff for a little bit, and it's actually giving me a nice break. Since I am posting Andromeda like a full playthrough, it's giving me the opportunity to kind of take a breather, because I was going full throttle there for a while with the stuff before the trip to Florida. Now it's three weeks and we're going to Insomnia 60 in, in Birmingham. So I've got more stuff I gotta do and I gotta actually find another place within that time too. So <sighs> lots of stuff, very, very nerve wracking. So something Steph keeps on telling me to do and I've actually been meaning to do this for a while and I just haven't got the chance. I'm gonna be doing a Q and A and this is going to be the comment section I'll be reading from. I haven't done one of these in a long time and I figured I could put together another Q&A. You know, since I'm working more on my channel now, I figured it was a good time to start conversing more with the, the audience that's watching my videos. You know, there's a lot of people out there that probably don't know me super well, but there's some that have been around for a long time, so. I'm sure everyone has questions. So use the comment section below to ask your questions for that video that'll be coming out hopefully this week, if not next. I'm actually gonna be doing a workout video soon here. I actually meant to do that the beginning of uh, this week, but Luke, uh, my trainer, actually had a kid. Uh, his wife had a baby and that's pretty much just shut down training sessions for a little bit. But I've been, you know, I've been going to the other gym. Uh, the regular gym that I do my cardio stuff at. But yeah, so I should be able to get a video of that showing off this new place. I was gonna fly my, my micro drone around there just to show it off in a different different way. But I think that is just about everything. Once again, questions, stuff, there's gonna be a whole lot of stuff in the comment section, but ask what you want. I'll do my best to answer and meow, 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 meow. That is definitely it. My goodness, that was a lot of stuff. Oh!